Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back. So I got a real quick video for you guys today. Uh, I, I, this is my um, TP Power 4070 CM motor, 1400 kV that I pulled out the Blackjack 42. It, um, it got smoked. It's actually, it's locked up. Okay, and I wanted to make this video because I actually found something pretty interesting. Okay, uh, so little backstory on the motor. I've had it for two years, roundabout, and I've got dozens of 12s runs on it if not more the motor has been it's been a beast one of my favorite tp motors okay uh it's a 12s capable motor it's capable of running 12s successfully okay uh so i i pulled out my 42 because we smoked it the other day and i was about to throw it in the junkyard um and i and i was and i was checking it out i looked at it i glanced at it before i put it in the box of scrap and i noticed that my my forward end bell wasn't fully seated on the motor can i'll, I'll show you a clip right here i noticed that the front end bell looks like it was trying to to push off the motor okay that little clip was before i disassembled the motor and you could see one side it's it's actually pretty much on the can and then the other side it's lifted off the can so i was like hmm let's take it apart right so i wanted to see how much these holes were wallered out so i take it i take the the three screws out okay and i just i just tap tapped on it just enough to get the the end bell off the motor can right and when when the end bell come off the motor can i wish i had the camera on these four pieces came out so i was like hmm what the hell so i pulled the end bell off and i was looking at the holes here look at that one it's elongated broken elongated the threaded holes are also elongated i pulled it out and the only shim I had on the motor was this guy right here. And these four pieces, actually there was more. They actually, there's probably some on the floor. Um, they came off. They came out, right? So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, you guys, I'm thinking. See that? I'm thinking during the run when this motor blew up, when it smoked, it locked up. I'm thinking that our bushing exploded. Okay. While this thing was spinning, the load, the weight pushing, the propeller pushing the boat. I'm thinking when that bushing exploded, there was nothing shimming up the front and it was the big, thick bushing. I'm thinking that the damn rotor basically like pushed the end bell. It broke one side, like I said, it broke one side, and that was it. It was cooked. It was cooked. So I was thinking it was because I just ran the boat back to back, and maybe the motor got hot, but it's never gotten hot on me running the boat back to back. I mean, I've gotten it into 140s, 150s, but never exceeded its its temperature, right? So it was weird to me, you know. But I've ha I've had I've got my money's worth out the motor. And I just wanted to show you guys this video because I found something interesting, you know. So, catastrophic motor failure. Whether it was me running the motor back to back, I'm thinking it was the bushing exploding, right? And the, the rotor getting pushed forward into the, the stator, right? Because I'm going to take this, I'm going to try to pull this. But yeah, look, the magnet's no longer even magnetized. So... When this got pushed forward, look where all the heat look where all the heat is. It's all forward. See that? It looks like all the heat is forward. You know? I mean there's a couple bad spots back here, but it looks like the heat was consolidated forward, possibly because it got pushed forward in the motor can. Right? What do you think? What do you guys think? 
So that's kind of crazy, huh? I've never had a bushing, ex a spacer, a spacer explode in a motor. That's wild. That's wild. You know, it's crazy. Shit, shit's crazy. Uh, so you want to be a, a fast electric RC boater? Well, you gotta mind your P's and Q's. You gotta, you gotta try to be careful. And even when you're careful, stuff happens. That's out of your control you know holy so, freaking cow boys it all freaking makes sense now so when i smoked this motor the other day I, I put this 5660 in right and i went to go grease up my cable and i noticed that my speedmaster bushing it was in it was in two pieces it was the main the main bushing and the little end cap that little flanged piece right there Speedmaster basically solders this little end cap onto the main bushing, right? So it was in two pieces. So I cleaned it up, I soldered it back on, and I ran the boat, right? And I was just, you know, I was wondering why that happened. So now it all makes sense. When that bushing right there exploded, while we were running the boat, 60,000 RPM, it exploded, there was a gap, the gap was closed, jarred immediately. The 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 motor, the propeller, the thrust pushed everything forward in my drive line. I'm thinking the the impact, the jar. It basically broke this bushing and this little flange piece. It separated during all of that. It makes sense. It makes sense. Holy cow! Wow. It's like it's like. It's like the domino effect. One thing happens, then something else, and then something else happens, you know, in the split, in a split second. So I got my bushing repaired. I, I basically cleaned it up. I got all the grease off of it, mineral spirits, alcohol, flux, uh, silver soldered it back together. And I, I basically cleaned it up, mill, milled all the solder off, and I, I've already run the boat with this repaired bushing in the 5660. But it all makes sense now. You know what I'm saying? It all makes sense now. So notice notice how notice how well with this particular motor I have a larger gap because this motor has a longer shaft. So with this other motor, the shaft was shorter. So when when this when this and it was the wide it was the wide spacer right when that spacer exploded basically this gap right here it there was no gap there right so the motor shaft the motor shaft the flex cable to call it all got jammed forward onto the end bell right bushing exploded the the the, the speedmaster bushing exploded during the process and domino effect so so cool i figured it out right whether whether it, it couldn't happen because of the bushing i had proper gap so it had to have been it had to have been the motor bushing exploded and everything getting crammed forward when the motor smoked so interesting stuff you know so y'all 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 share your experiences with a uh, motor failure driveline failure you know enlighten me right Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff, right? So uh, we'll see you guys next time. We're going to push this sucker right here. Yeah, we're going to push it. We're going to push it. Uh, we've already tried 10S. It don't like it. So we're going to run it on 8S and uh, max it out. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.